so we want to do factors, yeah? We've got to factor of a number, we have to sort that out. And also we've got to do highest common factor and stuff, yeah? Who knows about factors, Gil? Oh, that Simpson bloke. Simpson was yeah. wonderful. To yeah. the left, to the to left. To the left, to the left. Let's go see Simpson. Yeah, yeah, in go. Hello. Simpson, eh? Emergency. Simpson. Emergency. You're the man in the business, you're the cookie, you're the kid. Not you two monkeys again. Mr. Here Tucker, we are. Mr. Tucker, our Lord and Master, we need to find out factors. What the factor what, is that? What the factor is that? Too busy for this. Oh, I'll just have a go for oh, it. I'll just do it for you. Oh, oh thank you. Not you two, you. Oh, you at home. You at home, the audience. The learners, the So audience. much better than last My week. My friends. So what, what, what is a factor then? Well, a factor, Mr. Miniman, is a number which goes into or I call them gazintas, which goes into gazintas. another number without a remainder. That's ah, it. Ah, well, without, without a remainder. remainder. So okay. what, should we do the factors of, let's say, 12? 12 is a good one. 12 what a great number, 12 yeah. disciples. Okay. 12, yeah. So I start easy, what number goes into everything? One. One does. How many times does one go into it? Uh, one times twelve. Oh, yeah, yeah, 12. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sort of like listing them. I'm making it in a list. Got it, got it. Let's so go to the next easiest one. Two. Does two go into it? It, it does. Goes into does. It. Goes into it. Goes into it. Goes into, goes into, goes into like it. it. You like it? I like it. it. I do like that a lot. Like yeah. Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, anyway, two goes into it six times. Two times six. Two times six is twelve. I like does it. Three yeah. go into it? No. It does. Does it? Gazinta. Because one plus two makes three. Oh! So three goes into it four times. Three. Does times. four go into it? No. It does. Oh, right, because it's oh, three times four. Three is that the same as four times, four times three? Uh, so we stop. And those are the factors of 12, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get on my work now? What was that? Well, can you just do another one for us? Yeah, we're not quite we're there yet. No. What do you want, 18? Got 18, yeah, yeah that's sounds good. nice. Yeah, that's a good number. I'll do it in blue. Cool. Oh, no, I won't. I don't like that colour. I'll do it in red. Mm. We'll edit that bit out. OK. 18, no. 18. Yeah. Start easy. One. One. One goes into it. 18, 18 times. Nice. Got it, yeah. Two go into it. Is yeah. it even two, yeah. yet? Two, six, three, four. Two, nine. Nine ah. times. OK, does yeah. three go into it? What was the rule? What was the rule? Uh, one and two is three. Without a remainder. One and eight is nine. So does three go into nine? Yes. So three goes into eighteen. It's clever, that. That's clever. Oh, I like that, yeah. Yeah. So if they add up to a number, a you can multiple divide. A multiple. Of, multiple? A multiple of three. Tuck is our stat as well, multiple. We'll do that next. OK, yeah. So three goes into it six times. Yeah. Does four go into it? It's an even number. Yeah. Two and nine, no, no. Does five go into it? No, it doesn't no. end in five. No. Right. The six, six, we done. Six, we got there. We got we? That. Is that we got it? That. Is that it? Well, what was that other thing? Hi highest common factor. Oh, okay, common. highest common factor of two numbers. Oh, okay. Oh. So common, got something in common. Right. Yeah. Highest. Hi yeah. yeah. What's the highest number right. that goes into both 12 and 18? <laughs> So looking at the two lists, one well, is that, 18's one is the that. highest, isn't it? Yeah. Highest in that one, but it's not common though, is it? Oh, common, common in the other lot as well. It's got to be in both. So one's in both. Yeah. Two's one, in both. Two, it's common. Three. Three's in both. That's yeah. common. Four. No. Like no. this one. Five and that. Six. Ooh. Is in both. So there we have it. The highest common factor. HCF. Shorten down. This six. Fantastic. Wonderful. Fantastic. Especially in blue for you, Mr. Minnow. You're a genius, mate. What are you about? What about a dance? I dance tonight. Duh. Right. Right, Simpson sorted us right out there with factors, Mr. Gill. So we've got this highest common factor, numbers that go into each other without leaving a remainder. But he mentioned this multiples thing as well. He did mention multiples, didn't he? Tuck us on about lowest common, common multiple. multiple or something. So who are we going to get to do that? I don't know. Because all the maths teachers are busy, aren't they? They're all very, very, very busy. What about that new, there's a supply bloke in, isn't there? There is, isn't there? Who's that new one, Mr. Schwarzenegger? Yeah. Let's go and see him. Let's go and see him. Hello. Arnold. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, don't know if you can help us, mate. All the maths teachers are busy. I know it's your first day and everything, but we need to find out about factors. Do you know what factors and multiples are, yeah? I, I know what multiples are. What's a multiple then, well, sir? Could you explain a it? A multiple is, is literally like a, a times table. Oh, really? The, the, the times tables, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Kiss the shine. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, that would be I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick the two times two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because because like that's the easiest one. Yeah. You know, I, I'm gonna put a two, and basically, right, one times two, it is two. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and I'm pretty sure that two times two is is four. It is. Yeah. And yeah. Three times two is six. Um, right. Four times two is, is eight, and, and then five times two is ten. I'm I'm pretty sure that's right. That I think you are. Yeah, 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 so yeah, that, yeah. they're the times table. So look, if I had another number, say I had, I don't know, I had six. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, I'll see again. I see one lot of six. Yeah. It is six. It, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two lots of six. Yeah. You do six, and then you add another six. Oh, uh, it's, oh, it's, it's, and it's these are all the multiples. And these are all multiples. Yeah. Oh. And then I think if you add twelve. To another six, that's three sixes. Yeah. So I think you end up with eighteen, and, and and if you notice, it's going up in six every time because it's the six times table. So multiples oh. are basically your times tables. Is oh, that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much. Uh, that, that is it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. What was the other thing Tucker wanted? Uh, lowest common multiple. Lowest oh. common multiple. Well, what could that? Well, be? I know what common means. I know, right. I, know, I know common means it has to be the same. Right. It's got to be common, and I know what multiple means. And I think lowest, I think I'll check, but I think lowest means it's the smallest. Right. Is that right? right? Yeah. Lowest, lowest, lowest. So, so Dan Beerton is the lowest common teacher. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Right. yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to look at my two, I'm going to use the ones I've got on the board. That's sensible, isn't it? Makes sense. Right? Uh, so right. I've got the two times table, I've got the six times table. Right. And I'm going to find the lowest common multiple LC. of two and six, because obviously us math teachers are lazy. Yeah. We don't write the words. Well, of two yeah. or six. LCM yeah. of two of six. No, that's not right, is it? No, yeah. No, no. Wonderful. And six. There we go. Like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along and I'm going to look for the first number that's the same. Now, it's not the lowest number, because the lowest number is obviously two, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, but there's no two. Right, so what I've got, I've got the, I've got the multiples again and I've got the times tables. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the lowest one that's in both rows. Oh. Yeah, and I think I'm not sure. I really am not sure. Right, I think it's six. Right, because look, there's right. a six here. There is oh, a six yeah. there. and there's a six up here. Brilliant. Oh, right? so they're I, know, I know I can't pick two yeah. because two's not down there. It's not. Right, so what I'm going to put is I'm going to put the LCM of those two numbers is six, and I'm going to underline a couple of times for good measure. Wonderful. Brilliant. So you list all the multiples out, do your times table. Yeah. And then it's the lowest number that's in that's, that's both right, yeah. lists. That's yeah. right. Sounds quite straightforward. Excellent. Brilliant, thanks Arnold. That's all right, no worries. No worries. <laughs> right, what's the answer? Thank right, Mr. Chucko. Your task was very difficult, but we have been ably assisted by some members of staff, especially that new supply teacher, Mr. Schwarzenegger. What Mr. Simpson showed us was, factors are, two, are numbers that go into other numbers without leaving a remainder. So if we look here at 24, 24 times 1 is 24, 12 times 2 is 24, 8 times 3 is 24, and so is 6 times 4 is 24. So 1 goes into 24, 24 times, 2 goes in 12 times, 3 goes in 8 times, 4 goes in 6 times, there are no remainders. There are no other numbers, whole numbers that will go into 24, so we list them here. The factors are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. For this number here, 32, we have done the same. The factors are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. There are no other numbers that go into 32 without leaving a remainder. We write them in a list, then we have done circling on the ones that appear in both lists, and then we have picked the one that is highest. The highest common factor of these two numbers is 8. Right, Mr. Tucker, the second part of the task was dealing with multiples, in which the new supply teacher, Mr. Schwarzenegger, helped us very much. Multiples basically are like times tables. So here, for example, the first five multiples of six are six times one, six times two, six times three, etc. Gives us six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty. Our other number here is twelve. The first five multiples of twelve again. 12 times 1, 12 times 2, 12 times 3. Gives us 12, 24, 36, 40, and 60. The lowest common multiple is the lowest number that appears in both of our lists. So if we have a little look here, I have put a ring around the 12 and a ring around this 12. That is the lowest number that appears on both lists. The lowest common multiple of 6 and 12 
is in fact the number 12. Thank you.